Uh, good morning. This is the Lincoln Land Convention Auction number 233. This is the fifth video, lots 262 through 321. The sale at Lincoln Land is at 9.30 a.m. on Saturday, August 13th. Uh, this is an online-only auction, but we will bring the glass up to the convention so people can look at the items. Um, okay, we're going to start right here. I'm going to grab this piece first because it's first off the list. I believe this is called the Cherries. Cherries. Okay, I gotta get Hat it. pin. Can you get it? Focus this. Show the back side. Okay. Can't get it to focus just a minute. There we go. Okay, I just had to step away. Doesn't like me much. You were making it blurry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here's a peacock at earn ice cream bowl. This is in green. It's see that green color up there? Beaded cable nut bowl. This is a rose bowl flared out. Purple. Here's a really pretty hearts and flowers compote in Renager blue. Most Renager blue ones don't have this good of iridescence. This thing is beautiful. This ice green hearts and flowers compote. No. Excuse me, lime green. This is a lime green one. And this is a little unusual. It is a plain back instead of the rib back. But it's a really nice one. Really nice. Let me show the difference here. Here's the ice green one. Yep. And this ice green one's a very nice one. It's it's about as good as they get. This is a good little run here of, of aqua opal or uh, hearts and flowers comp. But the next one's aqua opal. Butterscotch. My favorite. I love butterscotch. On ice cream. And then look at here. You can see the difference in colors. I'm per, I'm a person that believes all of them are aqua opal. There's just different qualities to them. This one here, a lot of people would call a sapphire opal. You can call it whatever you want. It's the best part about carnival glass. It's there are millions of opinions out there. Love the butterscotch iridescence. Okay. This here purple one is just incredible. Beautiful, beautiful purple hearts and flowers compote. Just a dandy. And, of course, an opalescent one. This is just blue opal, not carnival. No iridescence. Okay. Rare plate here is a green Rocho plate. Gosh, it's really a nice one. Very nice. This is a true green. Fabulous. Here's a blue... Rocho plate. Now there's a nick here, a nick here. I think there's a little nick. No, that don't look like a nick. Uh, there's a little nick there. This thing has some little issues, but it is a blue Rocho plate. Rare mug here. And look at the opal here. This is a fisherman mug in peach opal. Look at the opal on that. I mean, it's just crazy how much opal this thing has. And this piece, Isaac Benish Bowls, I mean, this is a fairly available one of these, but as far as advertising piece, but this thing is beautiful. They never look this nice. Yep. Here's a good luck bowl, and I believe it's purple. Yes, it is. Rib back. If you look right here, there's a point that's been completely polished off. Okay. Really nice embroidered mums bowl and marigold. Really nice one, rib back, of course. All right, we have a button with a B on it. Hopefully, you can see that. Mm -hmm. And then this here is a little brooch, and there's a little iridized flower button there. Show the back so you can kind of see how it. Yep. Here's a really nice purse. Okay. Here's a little bag. Show how that is here. There we go. Okay. And here's a little, this is kind of cool. It's a little pin case. Yep. Beaded, it's really cool. I wouldn't consider this carnival, but I would consider it Indian. It is a Indian necklace. Uh, I don't know much about Indian stuff, but I'm guessing that might be pretty good. Don't know. 
Rare piece here. This is the acorn pattern plate. It's about a seven, eight inch plate in blue. These are very rare, seldom seen. Couple of uh, sauces and sherbets, Northwood, Great and Cable, and, and Singing Birds. Now these are really rare, probably undervalued. Singing Bird mud and mug in green, just regular green. You will see all the time. This one's stippled. Stippled ones are very rare, very hard to find. The marigold ones are available, but the green, purple, and blue are very, very hard to get. And here's one of the marigold ones. Another tough little six inch plate is a vintage and amethyst. Very hard to get. Eat Paradise Soda's advertising plate. Amethyst, purple, show the color you want to call it. Peacocks, ruffle bowl. It has a basket weed back. Those are a little harder to get. Fairly tough. Here's a Nippon pie crust edge bowl with a rib back in ice blue. Very nice. I like this Greek key bowl. Really nice looking. Mm -hmm. Fabulous color to it. Marigold. Rib back, of course. Horse medallion deep round bowl in red. See the red color, hopefully. Can you see it, Mom? Uh, no, move it towards the light. I am towards the light. There we go. There we go. Uh, okay, there you go. So, Butterfly and Fern water pitcher and six tumblers or a seven piece set. Marigold, very nice set. Genuine. Grab them tumblers a little. Stipple grape and cable bowl. That's a nice bowl. It is a very nice bowl in green. Rib back. This is a really, really nice one of these. Really nice. I've always been a fan of the next lot. I've always liked these open edge plates. They're hard to find. This one's rather pretty. I've always had a liking of those. Cherry chain. Little six inch plate in blue. Orange tree back. Just noticed something there. Jan would probably have to list that. There is a little nick on an orange tree right there. See it? On the orange? Okay. Yep, we need to write that down. So get that on the list. We are constantly looking for damage, and sometimes we look six, seven, eight times, and we'll still find something. Uh, peacock at the fountain. Fruit bowl. Marigold. Loganberry vase in amber. Very nice. Here's a lotus and, lotus, lotus and grape plate in green. It's a really nice one. Very pretty. Grape and cable powder jar. The lid does have chips on it, which is not unusual. You can see them right there. This one's all stippled. Another hard, it's just hard to find these like that in stippled. Davidson Society Chocolates, hand grip plate. Amethyst. A lot of three tumblers there. I think a couple of them have some nicks on it. Uh, check the listing, make sure. That one. This one does, I know for sure. I think that one's good. I think these two are good, and that one's got some problems. Then we got a table set in inverted strawberry. This is a rare set, folks. Really nice condition. Here's the creamer, spooner. Jan, can you grab the, get the butter dish sitting down there? Not a big fan of picking up two pieces like that, but there you go. So, there you go. All right. Butterflies bonbon in blue. Here's a good piece. 1910 Detroit Elks Ruffle Bowl in blue. Really nice piece. Vintage Candy Ribbon Edge Bowl in Amethyst. Another favorite piece of mine. I've always liked these. 
This is the butterfly ornament. This is the old Fenton one. Really nice. Here's a heart and vine bowl. Notice in the center, we are missing iridescence. One of the nicest plates in the sale. Concord plate in green. This thing is amazing. Just a remarkable plate. It's got nice red, pinkish highlights on there. It's, it's really, just, really pretty. Yeah. And this amethyst one right here is not shabby either. It's a pretty nice one. Marigold one, pretty neat piece. Get to the other side. Here's the smaller version of, of four pillars. This one is purple. I think they call it four pillars variant, don't they? Some people do. Here is a luster rose fernery in marigold. Last old piece in the sale. Not a bad one, is it? Tornado, rib tornado vase in amethyst, and it's a really nice one. I remember when Barton bought this from us. He, he was really excited about it, so. All right, now we got some contemporary pieces. Here's a decorated rabbit, hand-painted by D. Cutshaw, I believe it was, wasn't so, it? Oh, yeah. Yep. And here's another decorated rabbit. Got a little opal on the top of that one. And this one's by, I don't know, is it, it Barber? Was that what it was? Uh, I think we have it on the listing, so yeah. check it out. Here's an owl. You know, and that is on the bottom. It says, I saw it when I was photographing it. It says, some, of 13, it's a number of 1,300. Yeah, they made 1,300 of these, so and it's a number of 1,300. And number. it says Fenton, so. Yeah. So, yep. Here's a lot of uh, five contemporary pieces. Then here's a, this is a 2004 Frolicking Bear Spittoon from the convention. Here's a neat little contemporary basket. It's got an S on it, so I'm sure Smith made this. This is an Imperial Grape Salt Shaker. Now, this is not marked IG, but I am assuming it is. Um, and they made it into a lamp. And last but not least, this is a signed Robert Hansen uh, Wreath Cherry Toothpick in red. And that's it for the Lincoln Land Convention. Remember, the auction is on Saturday, August 13th. The auction starts at 9.30. Come to the convention, enjoy the fun, and we'll see you in Milwaukee.